everyone welcome back so um, this video is going to be on not really calcium alkalinity and how to use it and stuff but just kind of how to tell if your corals if there's enough in the system if you don't have a test kit and, you, and you're not testing for it like let's say you're just getting going in the hobby and you don't have all the test equipment you you just love this coral that you just got a new tank and and now you have a coral so what you need to do is um, you never put anything or add anything to your tank without testing for it but let's say uh, you did and you're at this situation let's just say you have a money cap and it starts looking um, it has a, a large white rim around it and it and the tissue starting to recede and and draw back inside the coral and it kind of looks like this now normally it'd be dark green and that would be you know have a lot more red color to it and the tissue you wouldn't see all those like uh, you know grooves in it it'd be more tissue so what's happening right now is my tank is high in alkalinity so the coral is starting to outgrow the tissue and being and low on calcium so my calcium is 388 and you know I've been keeping it around 420 but I think I'm even gonna bump it up a little bit higher than that and see how the uh, how the tank reacts to it but so right now the tissues receded and the skeleton is outgrowing it right now so the alkalinity is is too high and it's causing it to grow too fast that's why there's a a white rim around it now white rim is growth but you don't want it like this where the tissues receded and it's just growing too fast um, so what I'm going to do to cure the problem is go on BRS and uh, bulk resupply and look at their calculator I'm going to do a calcium and alkalinity test and then I'm going to put my parameters into their calculator and it'll tell me exactly what I need to do to correct it and uh, the reason I have a calcium reactor but the reason it's it's off right now is because I, I have my calcium reactor fed from a manifold and the manifold changes flow all the time and it's it's not the ideal way to run it the ideal way is to get a constant uh, pump for your reactor your calcium reactor so that's that's what I'm saving it for now so that's what to look for on, uh, on on your hard Monty caps, hard corals, not the hard corals, what am I trying to say, the uh, SPS, they're considered, I guess. And uh, so that's what to look for. Now, there's some other stuff I wanna show you is cyano, and that's this red stuff. Let me go over here. There's a good patch of it right here. So if you get this in your tank, and you're just starting out, you don't know what to do or what it is, then uh, go down, to the Petco or order it somewhere online, whatever your the place you usually buy it at. So get ChemiClean. Uh, that stuff works really well on it. I just haven't put it in the tank in a while. That's why uh, th that patch is so large. Another thing too that's that you can see if you're wondering are those those little bubbles. Now those could be two things. Those could be air bubbles or they could be green algae bubbles. Green algae is like this a clear bulb like a clear bubble it starts growing and it gets darker green and they just get larger and larger when you pop them they blow they uh, release uh, spores into the water and then it keeps multiplying so that kind of uh, algae you don't want to uh, pop those bubbles because it'll just it'll start spreading too fast in your tank that's what happened to me and if you get the, if you get that uh, green bubble algae and you're sure it's that then buy some vibrant uh, look at Google for the vibrant that works really well on the green bubble algae. I have a, quite I have a few videos on that um, I think I did about a year ago but I did check these bubbles and I touched one of them and it just rose up to the surface so it's these are definitely air bubbles my tank is still cured from the green bubble algae thank goodness um, one last thing I'll, I'm going to tell you guys on the, on the Zoas. Everyone says the Zoas have, you know, they're bright and they're vibrant and everything. It's because I test for um, iodine. 
Is it iodine? Yeah. Yeah, it's iodine. Sometimes I get confused because I just I just film and talk, so I don't edit anything. It takes too long, but so I test for that, and when it's a little bit low, I add it, and that that gets all your uh, at least for your zoas. Uh, it keeps them pretty pretty uh, bright and colorful. So if they look a little muted and stuff like that, test and then see where it's at, and uh, then add what you need to bring it up to par. Um, okay, for the last couple minutes, I'm just going to show you a little bit of the growth that I've noticed. Um, got a little bit of time still left on the video. So those zoas are pretty much still kind of just on the same rock. These ones, they back to these ones. These ones are spreading, which I want. I want them to cover that whole rock. And if you've noticed, I've added um, a couple of these. Well, I didn't, I didn't add them, but they're part of these ones and they they jumped onto that rock and these ones are these ones are nice they grow pretty fast so when they grow into that it'll uh, it'll look pretty good and then um so i have some more of those there which will look pretty nice and oh and this uh, i had those uh i don't know what these are called but they're blue with green centers and again they have the those yellow with the pink centers growing there I have some of those ones and those on the side with the blue. So once everything grows in right there, that'll look pretty nice. That colony looks pretty good. And uh, this colony is is doing pretty well. Uh, it's, still, it's still about the same. The rock right in the center of the camera. Uh, or that, not the rock, the, uh, the section in the center of the camera. I think that's a little bit of new growth. And let me show you my uh, the acans or lords, whatever you want to call them now. So I want to sh um, you know, a little thing that I've learned on these ones too. Um, those ones look really good. They like the amount of light. They like the flow that they're in, and um, they're they're doing good. Like you see how the edges are all touching each other and they're all kind of uniform. This one. This one's not quite happy. He's like he's pretty happy, but I don't think he's as happy. Either that, or the or the heads aren't the two smaller ones aren't as big. Maybe that could be it too. So I'm still learning. I don't know at all, and don't try to. And I think same thing with that. Now this. Let me go over to this one. And where's it at? Oh, right. Oh, is that glare gonna be right in the way? Yeah, the light, the glare from the light. It's right in the way. Let me let me go down a little bit. See if I can get a shot from this. Okay. So these ones, uh, they were over in about 50 to 60 par. And they just weren't doing anything. So and they're kind of, that's a horrible. Hang on, let me see if I can zoom past that light, the reflection from the light. Well, anyway, I don't know. Um, I don't want to, it's right, I can't get it out of there, so, sorry about that. So, they weren't doing really well with the low amount of light, so I'm trying to find a spot in the tank where, where they're going to like it. And, uh, so I'm going to leave them here in the center for a few days. The light went from like 60 to 100 par, uh, and it's, and it goes to 110 for about an hour, two hours, I think. It's about 110 in that spot where they're at there. So that's, I've got that par meter, which is kind of where they're at. So I'm kind of seeing where those are at. These guys love this new spot that they're at. And how do I know that they like it? Because they're they're like in a trumpet or a V. And their, uh, their pulps are out. Not their pulps, but uh, they just, the way they look. It's kind of just, I don't know how... The words for it but the way they look they're kind of like they're kind of coned and they're they're just liking it so I'm gonna feed these guys some pellets and uh, I do that once a week and they kind of like that and they grow from it so that's that's where we're at uh, hope you like the video give me a thumbs up thanks